Welcome to the TPC Desktop Video Series. In this video, we'll look at the horizontal curve fit routine in Traverse PC. Starting with TPC Desktop 2016 Release 1, we're expanding this routine to include a least squares curve fit. I've got just a real small data set up here that we use for uh, one of our tests on the horizontal curve. So we don't have a lot of distance between these points, but you can clearly see that I've got the points plotted here. It almost looks like it could be a spiral. But let's go ahead and fit a horizontal curve through these. So in this traverse, I'm going to choose Kogo, horizontal curve, fit horizontal curve. And Traverse PC opens up the dialog box for me and says, I'm going to select the entire traverse. I'm going to start with point zero and end with point six. And I've got two options. Now, for a long time, a number of years, we've had this option right here that says the average between the first point and the last point. So we assume the first point's the PC and the last point's the PT. And when we compute that, Traverse PC computes the radius, in this case counterclockwise because it's negative. And I can accept this 14.12, or I can simply overtype that with a minus 14. And then I can apply the radius and we'll see that Traverse PC goes in and applies that minus 14.12 to each point in here. Um, or I can undo that. Okay, so that's what Traverse PC has done for a lot of years. Let's do the least squares now. And uh, let's also hit compute. And Traverse PC computes a radius of minus 14.69. Okay, so fairly close to the radius that we computed with the average method. But the least squares method is minimally constrained. So that means that we're going to let the endpoints float. So point zero doesn't have to be the PC, and point six doesn't have to be the PT. Now, when I chose compute, I had an option turned on here that says create unique point labels on compute. So I have a unique point label for zero and a unique point label for six. Let's go ahead and save and plot those. Now, I can see the points show up here in the drawing, point six up here at the top and point zero colon one down here at the bottom. But Traverse PC also put them in a point plot here. So let's come to our point plot Traverse. Let's right click, go to Traverse Drawing Settings, and let's tell Traverse PC to recall a pre-existing format called Control Loops, that'll work. So it's gonna draw the curve in black, and we can now see that Traverse PC fit a horizontal curve to these points, uh, as in all the uh, curve fitting or line fitting routines. Uh, this curve could extend far beyond the uh, data set, but Traverse PC chooses to start the curve at a point that's very near the first point in the data set, and it ends the curve at a point that's very near the last point in the data set. So you can go ahead and um, expand this curve out or do whatever else you want to do with it. One of the things I really like about least squares, and, and the average option does this as well, is that I have this summary button. So I can bring up a summary for what I just did, and I can see that here I did a fit horizontal curve. I did the entire Traverse Bullock example, 0 to 6. And then I come down, and Traverse PC gives me my best fit line from 0 colon 1 to 6 colon 1. It gives me the radius, the coordinates of that endpoint, and then this is what I really like. I get the offset of every point uh, left and right from that. And you'll notice that uh, these are in the direction of the curve. So at point zero down here, at the beginning of the curve, it's left of the curve, so it's a minus. Uh, the next two points are um, uh, positive, so they're to the right. This point zero two is also positive, so it's just barely to the right. The next two points, four and five, are offset left. And the final point, 6, is offset right. So just a great way for Traverse PC to come in and give you curve information uh, out of those points. Uh, you can choose then between this uh, average, between the first and last, if you feel pretty confident that you've got the PC and PT that you want, and you want this curve to pass through them. Or you can do a least squares, minimally constrained solution that will create a new uh, PC and PT for this curve and then fit it to those points.